Hello, lovely beings. Welcome to today's yoga class, Yoga for Better Sex. Now, of course, this class contains poses that make me feel good in my body before sex. I like to feel connected. I like to feel spiritual. I like to feel confident, powerful, sexy, sensual. So for me, these poses help me connect with those themes. Now understand that everyone has different feelings that they want to have and create when it comes to sex. So take this as a place to explore the themes and feelings and emotions and experiences you want to create in your sex life with the accompaniment of some mindful movement, some breath, and really just an all over desire to connect with the body in a new way, to release shame, to release guilt, to come closer to union, um, whether that is casual sex, monogamous sex, polyamorous sex, uh, maybe it's masturbation. This is a space for us to safely explore those things without judgment and with pure, unconditional self-love. So that being said, a part of self-love is following your intuition. If a pose does not feel good for you, if you don't like it, if there's another pose that pops up in your head and like, oh, I really, really want to do that, go ahead, do it. Ease up out of the pose, drop the pose completely. Go into another pose that makes you feel good. I am just here as a facilitator um, to encourage you guys to look within. Nobody knows you as well as you do. Now, on that note as well, there might be some props that you feel will help you in these poses. Right now I'm sitting up on a block. I usually have a kneeling pad near me in case I would like that in like um, maybe a downward dog, tabletop, whatever it may be. You can also use pillows, blankets, rolled up towels, anything that's going to be able to... Hey, you can even use a, a pile of books, right, in place of blocks. Anything that's going to help you feel more at ease and more at grace within your body. Please wear whatever makes you feel comfortable today. Whether that's clapper pants, uh, maybe you're naked, maybe you're wearing a baggy t-shirt and uh, baggy shorts. Whatever it is that makes you feel good in your body, wear that. The goal is to feel good in your body, not to look like nobody else, but to just come in to this beautiful shell. So that being said... I would like to invite you to join me in tabletop. So for tabletop, I've gone ahead and actually put the kneeling pad underneath my knees as extra comfort and cushion. I have my fists aligned underneath the shoulders. If you have wrist pain, I really suggest you come up onto the fists or maybe fingertips. Um, I also suffer from wrist pain, so I usually just default to the wrists. My knees are stacked underneath my um, hips. And when I'm ready, I'll inhale, begin to arch the back, drop the belly, open up through the chest and lift up my head. Inhale, begin, or exhale, begin to round out the lower back. The spine follows. The head, perhaps the chin comes to the chest. And I lift up and out of my wrists and my knees. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, arch. Filling up our whole body, letting our breath reach every single corner of the body. Exhale, releasing anything that's no longer needed. One more time. Inhale back to center. So now we're gonna do three more rounds of cat cow, but this time we're gonna do a variation that I call rolling cat cow. So we inhale, arch the back. Exhale, begin to bring the head and the hips through a circle and inhaling back up to cat pose or cow pose. Exhale, creating a circle with the head and the hips. 
Inhaling back up with the arched back. Let's go ahead and do two more. Almost doing like a body wine or a body roll. All right, so go ahead and reverse your circle. Doing about three rounds going the other way. And don't worry if it feels a little weird at first. Just stick with it, see what comes up. And ultimately, if it doesn't feel good in your body, just release. Letting your breath move you through the pose. Come back to center, tabletop. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, bumping the hips to the left, or excuse me, the right. Exhale, look back towards the left corner. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, bump the hips to the left. Look at the right side. Inhale, center. Exhale, look back. Inhale, center. Exhale, look back. Inhale, center. Exhale, you can stay in tabletop or take a short break in child's pose. Taking about two more breaths here. Inhale, if you're in child's pose, plant the fists, roll up. I'll move my kneeling pad over here. And on my exhale, I'll come up onto the toes, lift up the knees, downward facing dog. Now from here, we can pedal it out. I'm gonna pedal out for about three deep breaths, looking towards the back of my mat, really lifting up out of my fists, and bringing that bum up. So from here, I'm gonna find some stillness. Inhale, begin to do a circle with the left hip. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, hip circle with the other hip now. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, look up, exhale. Bring the right foot forward in between the shoulders. Now, for our lunge, if you'd like, you can come up onto a block. And I think I will today. So I have the knee stacked over the ankle. And I'm feeling this opposing energy, right? So my knee is pressing energy forward, but my back leg is pulling it back. So feeling almost like a scissor in this position. We'll be here for three. Lifting up and out. Optional, you can take a twist here. Inhale, exhale. Come down if you've had a um, spinal twist. Now nothing to it here. We're just gonna bring the right foot back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bring the other knee now, or the other foot now in between the shoulders. So again, stacking the knee over the ankle, pulling that hip back. So making sure our hips are parallel. And as we push this energy forward in the front body, we're grounding and pulling back with the back body. So we're here for three with an option for a spinal twist. Inhale, exhale, bring the hand down if you were in a twist, and then come back into downward facing dog. So from here, we can look up, we can step up to the front, we can hop up to the front, we can walk backwards, whatever the case may be, meet me in forward fold. <sighs> 
All right. So I'm gonna take the time here to just tuck in the belly into the thighs. And for my body, I find that I'm able to fold a lot more. So let's take about three breaths here, just in forward fold. You can find stillness, or maybe you can rock side to side. You can also experiment with clasping opposite elbows. Wherever you find yourself, let's take about three deep breaths. Inhale, halfway lift. Extending through the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, tuck in the chin. Roll up nice and slow. Mountain pose. Inhaling and really rolling up through the spine. Extending and lifting up from the front body. Chin is parallel with the ground. Rolling the shoulders up and back. And perhaps we tuck in that lower back to lengthen our spine and protect the lower back. So even though this is a stationary position, there's a lot of power that comes here. We can keep the feet hip width distance apart or perhaps wider, whatever feels good for you today. And as we lift up and connect with our core and ground through the lower body, let's just feel our power here for about three to five breaths. Inhaling and filling up the diaphragm with as much air as we feel like today. And on our exhale, pushing in the tummy slightly. Gentle bend in the knees. So from here, I'll invite you guys to join me in goddess pose. Regardless of the parts you do or don't have, everyone should tap into their God, into their goddess energy. So I'm going to bring the feet slightly wider than hip width distance. And I'm going to allow my feet to come open. I would say like 60 degree angle. Ah, beautiful. So I'll inhale, roll up through the spine, really lifting up, just like we did in mountain pose, and really lengthening and elongating the spine by tucking in that back, that lower back. For my body, that offers extension and protection. bringing our attention to the hips. Let's see if we can create an outward rotation of the hips. So instead of the hips facing in, see if we can open them up. And if that doesn't mean anything to you today, that's okay. Exhale, inhale, exhale. You can choose to bring the arms up, cactus pose. Perhaps you do eagle arm and cross them over. Or if you want to focus more on stability, you can keep your hands at the hips. So we inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, begin to come down, opening the knees out. Goddess pose. Feeling our strength here. Two more breaths. See if you can open up through the arms a little bit more. Inhale, 
Inhale. Now, if you want, you can come up out of here or you can join me for a little goddess bounce. Mm, yeah, I feel it. My hips. <laughs> Three, two, one. See if you can go a little lower. And now on your exhale, come back up. And you can bring the hands back to the hips. Whew. And let's just take about three breaths here. Just catch our breath. See what it feels like. What does the energy feel like in our body? So on my next inhale, I'm going to bring the feet a little bit closer to each other by heel toe, heel toeing. And I'll bring them slightly wider than my hips. I'm going to keep my feet out and open. And maybe if I'd like, bring them out a little bit more. Now, from here, we are going to transition from this standing position into a yogi squat. So similar to goddess pose, we're going to have an outward rotation of the hips, lengthen through the spine, tuck in that lower back. And whenever we're ready, begin to descend and you might find there's a point where you just have to like bring your hands out to guide yourself to come down that's okay maybe you heel toe heel toe the feet closer together if you'd like you can go ahead and use your block and place it under your bum to sit on so that you can focus more on extending through the spine and opening up the hips instead of extending through the spine, opening up the hips, and then focusing on your little froggy uh, yogi squat. Whatever feels good for you today, come into this yogi squat, whatever it looks like for you. <sighs> so I'm going to take about three breaths here, just breathing. If you'd like, you can bring the hands to prayer pose and use the elbows to push on the knees to open up the hips. Whatever position you're in, really see if you can bring an extension to the spine. Inhale. Exhale. You can keep breathing here or you can join me in putting one hand on the ground. Inhaling the arm up. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale back to center. Bringing the opposite arm to the floor. Exhale, bring the other arm up. Side stretch. Inhale, back to center. And now, again, I'll invite you to join me in a bounce, in the yogi squat bounce, like we just did in goddess pose. So inhale, exhale, bounce up. And if you are ready for sex, this might be a pose that you uh, might want to incorporate in the bedroom. <laughs> Three two one beautiful bring the hands to the ground and then allow your bum to come to the ground as well so from here i'm going to transition into a supported froggy pose so i've got two blocks right here you can also um put a rolled up blanket or towel, fold it up, whatever, underneath your knees as some extra support. Um, that might be really beneficial if you have knee pain. So coming into a almost like tabletop position, I'm gonna start off with my knees slightly wider than hip width distance. I'm taking my blocks and I'll align first with my hands underneath the shoulders. And once I find a good position, I'm actually gonna bring my elbows down exactly to where my hands were. So it's starting to look a little bit maybe like a dolphin pose if you've ever done that. So from here, I'm gonna look at my feet and I'm gonna actually bring them out to be on the inside. So if it feels good, I just had to um, in order to come up onto the inside of my feet, I had to widen my hips a little bit more. So this again may be where your blocks come in handy. 
So I'm going to look back at my feet and make sure that my legs are directly straight underneath from the knee. So it's not like this or like this, but really a straight line, creating a 90 degree angle with the bent knee. <sighs> So as I extend through my spine, I'm already getting the shake. So if you're starting to shake too, that's okay. Uh, you can always experiment with bringing the knees a little bit closer if that's too, if it's too much for you. So we are here in our uh, supported froggy pose. I'm going to again tuck in that lower belly, extend through my crown, create an outward rotation in the hips and breathe here for three to five breaths. Lifting up out of the shoulders so we're not collapsing, but lifting ourselves up through space. Inhale. Bring the hands down again. Very gently, we're going to put our pressure into our wrists and begin to lift up out of frog. And nice and gently bringing the knees back together. From here, I'm going to transition onto my back. You guys are doing great. We're almost towards the end of our class. And I have a flower on my yoga mat from somewhere. Thank you, universe. Just making sure we have enough space uh, for our next pose. I'm going to invite you guys to do some hip circles with me. So as you can see, I'm a little bit close to the bed frame, so I'll just be mindful of that. From here, I'm going to windshield wiper the knees from side to side and gently extending through my feet, elongating my legs <sighs> until finally I reach corpse pose. Beautiful. So I'm going to inhale, bend the right knee, bring it towards the chest. And with my right hand, I'll keep my left hand on my hip. So my right hand, I'm just going to gently guide the hip into some neck or into some hip circles. These could be as big or as small as you'd like. I'm going to take about two more breaths here. And on my next inhale, I'm going to reverse the circle. One more breath here. Inhale, bringing the knee to the chest. Exhale, letting the leg elongate nice and slow. <sighs> Inhale, bringing the left leg up in the bent knee position. Exhale, begin to find hip circles on the other side. About four more breaths here, letting our breath guide our movement. Whenever you're ready, reverse your circle. Being careful not to hit yourself. <laughs> I'll take about two more breaths here. And 
inhaling, bringing the knee to the chest. Exhale, let it go out long. Inhale, bringing the right knee back towards the chest again. Exhale, bringing it across the body towards the floor for a spinal twist. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my elbows to prop up my body into a better position. Bring the head to rest on the opposite cheek. So if my right leg is crossed over my body, I'm gonna turn towards the right cheek. Breathing here deeply through our spinal twist for about three breaths. If you like, you can put the left hand on the right knee and guide it a little bit closer towards the ground or not. And my next inhale, I'll gently guide the right knee back towards the chest. And exhale, bring it out long. Inhale, bringing the left knee to the chest. Exhale, crossing it over the right side of the body. Creating a spinal twist. I'm gonna, if it feels good, open up my chest and come up onto the left cheek. If you like, you can also experiment with keeping the knee bent or extended. Wherever you are, let's breathe here for about three breaths. towards the chest and exhale bringing it out long corpse pose so I'd like to invite you to join me in one more pose before we head off towards our five minutes of silent meditation I'm gonna inhale Exhale, lengthen through the lower back. And then my next inhale, I'm gonna bend the knees and bring them close to the chest. As close as I can anyway. We're gonna be doing a happy baby. If you like, of course you can skip this. I'm gonna begin by creating an outward rotation in the hips, opening up through the hips. And if it feels good, you can either put the hands on the ankles or the outside of the feet. I'm going to bring my chin towards my chest and elongate through my spine. So from here, I'm going to begin to kick open, kick up, kick up through the feet and use my hands to ground. So it's these two opposing energies again, kicking up and opening up through the legs and then using the hands to bring the feet into a grounded position. So I'm gonna really breathe through my calves, my hips, and my thighs. Showing here for about three breaths. If you like, you can move the feet around. If you like, you can move the feet around or just find stillness. One more. And then when you're ready, bring the feet back down to the ground. Beautiful. 
Now find any position that you like for our five minutes of silent meditation. For me, I'm going to bring the feet about yoga mat distance apart and allow the knees to come in. For me, this pose allows me to open up through the lower back and allow the hips to relax. Since for me, most of these poses were deep hip openers, uh, this is gonna be a nice way to balance it off. I'll push into my elbows and bring my shoulder blades underneath the chest. And because it feels a little uncomfortable, I'm gonna let my hair come out. For your five minutes, if any thoughts pop up, just try your best to release them. Don't be upset with yourself. Try to just offer yourself as much self-compassion and allow your best, your best ability to just let the thoughts flow and be released. I'll bring us back when our five minutes has ended. Your five minutes begins now.
All right, my love bugs. Our five minutes has ended. Gently bring yourself back into this space. Perhaps you wiggle the toes and then the fingers. And then maybe you bat your eyelashes open. Thank you for joining me today in our Yoga for Better Sex class. I hope you can return to this class when you want a boost to your sacral chakra, when you want to feel sexy, or before you're about to get down. If you're in the position I am, I'll invite you to join me in heel, toe, heel, toeing, the soles of the feet together. Bringing the knees down to one side, and because I usually get up on the right side, I'm gonna come up on the left side. I'm gonna roll my body over into a fetal-like position. Plant the palms on the ground. And nice and slow, roll up. May you always feel sexy and divine in your body. Peace, love, and light. Namaste.